Victor Haltharp here, long track speed skater representing Denmark. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how I approach the season here in the preseason nutritionally. I am a dietitian, so that's one thing I really care about. The reason I chose that field is actually to help myself become a better skater. I learned a lot and some of the things, I really try and incorporate those in, in what I eat and when I eat and how I eat basically. And uh, three good pieces of advice here that I and, and the people I live with, the skaters I live with, my wife, that we try and, and follow and live by is that we don't try and restrict ourselves in terms of how much we eat, especially here in the preseason where it's really just a matter of, of getting a lot of training hours in. And in order to do so, you need to be fueled up the entire time. So eat a lot, a lot of calories because we do burn a lot of calories. So we try and make those two, uh, you know, match up the expenditure and the, the calorie intake. That said, calories are not just calories, so we try and hit the right macronutrients, meaning that we try and get sufficient amounts of healthy fats and carbohydrates and protein in all our main meals. So that would be my first piece of advice for you guys, is to make sure your main meals are on point, living with your family, or if you're living with a partner that's not an elite athlete, to make those quantities seem somewhat normal and just to be able to be part of a usual family dinner is a great way to just have normal, healthy meals. Then what we do on top of that is that we add a lot of energy in our daily snacks. So whenever we add practice beforehand, after practice or during practice, we take a lot of quick carbohydrates simply just to get an, an additional energy for those sessions. Whether they are long, short, hard, easy, you can always adjust that. So you can take bars, you can take chews, gels, whatever fits you. And then after a workout, of course, we try and refuel, not just with protein, but also carbohydrates, which is crucial if you have a second workout in that day. So basically, long story short, fuel a ton, make the big meals healthy, because now is the time where you're probably on a more loose training plan because you're not restricted or limited to specific training hours, whenever your rank opens, whenever your team is there, so you can take that time it needs to cook well and to eat well.